welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, approximately three months. It's been a really long time. So I have been moving. It's been the craziest time for me, just like mentally, spiritually, everything. It's been super draining, but also really exciting because I moved from Orlando to San Diego. Obviously this move from Orlando to San Diego was a huge deal for me. I've never moved to another state before, so I have obviously lived away from home. I went to college away from home, so I have experienced that before, but never moving cross country. Like I literally moved from Florida all the way to California. It was really crazy but really awesome and I'm so thankful that everything worked out, especially during a pandemic. So many things were happening. I kind of wanted to make this update, just letting you know what the hell is going on. Um, and then also have this be kind of like the new start to my YouTube channel um, where I will be posting so much stuff, so I'll definitely talk about it a little later along the video. So why did I move from Florida to California? First of all, the only reason I'm here is because my boyfriend's job um, opened up a studio and so they wanted him to come in person. And so that's basically why we moved here because he had told them when he got the job in the beginning, like, hey, I'll move out there for this job. And so it ended up happening. Um, so I kind of knew for the last year or at least the last like six months of the year that we would be relocating from Orlando to San Diego, but we didn't really know the timeline or when it would happen and then it all kind of happened kind of quickly like they were just like hey like we're opening the studio soon we need you out here and that's when we were like oh crap like we have to move but honestly like the move out here happened really quickly we were looking for apartments so expensive but we found like a really affordable two bedroom that is literally beautiful. Like I love this apartment. I'm just so much happier here. Our last apartment was so small. It was like a studio. I mean, it was a one bedroom slash studio, but it was so tiny. Everything was just super small and it was really, really old. I actually got that apartment by myself. I didn't plan for my boyfriend to move in. And that was like last year when the pandemic had just started. So I got that apartment knowing that like, hey, I can afford this by myself. And then eventually he ended up like moving in. So it just wasn't the most ideal location for two of us. So we found this two bedroom that has so much more space than our last apartment. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, everything actually worked out. So we shipped our cars, both of our cars from Orlando to Florida, which honestly was not that expensive. It was, I mean, it was expensive. It was like $1,100 each car but I thought it was gonna be way more expensive and like when we were first thinking about moving here, I was like, are we gonna get a truck? Like, are we gonna drive? But we ended up just getting, booking our flights and then we shipped our cars out. Literally took everything in the cars. We packed the car to the brim and then we took everything in luggages, which I have a massive closet, obviously. And literally we took about six big uh, luggages check them in and that was all our clothes everything else that we couldn't bring we literally threw out and bought everything new so everything that i have here in the kitchen all of the furniture like all of this cute little stuff that i have behind me is all brand new so that was kind of cool because we got to like redecorate i'll definitely show you like an updated apartment tour once we have some more stuff because right now i literally just have like my office desk which I don't really like the desk I bought. I need to buy another one. And then we have like some wall decorations that we started, like some cute little plants, like my little aloe plant that I just got. And we have some random like decor stuff. So we have some stuff started, but we definitely still have a couple other touches, but I will do an apartment update once everything's like decorated and looks cute. Getting here was a freaking journey. I cannot tell you how stressful it was. I was having so much anxiety like the whole time of just like making sure everything was perfect. So honestly, there were so many things that could go wrong because we literally flew out the same day that we had to get our apartment keys and we missed our flight. We had a connection flight. I can't remember. I think it was, we're supposed to fly out from uh, Orlando to Atlanta and then Atlanta to San Diego. And we were, our flight thankfully was so early in the morning that we were gonna get to California at like 12 o'clock or 
enough time to like make it get our car rental and then make it to the leasing office we freaking miss our flight because the TSA line was literally training someone and so it took them forever like oh my gosh when I tell you this man's was like getting the ID and like double checking the person like 20 million times it was so frustrating like I don't I literally do not wish that on anybody that feeling of knowing like you're literally missing your flight and it's like right there but you're literally missing it so anyway literally in the TSA line we make it like we think we're gonna make it we have like a minute left it's like the flight like departs at like I don't know like 7 20 in the morning and it was like 7 17 and I was like we're gonna make it we freaking book it like me and my boyfriend were, were like all right like whoever puts their shoes on fastest just run go get the flight we literally ran my boyfriend was like hauling ass in the airport and running literally he just like i i'm running also and he turns around and just looks at me and is like we missed our flight and i'm like Fuck. like it was the worst it was so stressful we were also with my uh boyfriend's uncle thankfully they got us on the next flight everything was good we made it but it was just so stressful like that whole time apartment but once we got the apartment and it was super cute i loved it and i just like was like okay now i can like relax and it's not as stressful honestly this whole month i've just been unpacking building furniture which is a freaking headache but we pretty much have like a good amount of stuff done like all of our furniture has been built like the chair that i'm sitting on i built like everything is coming together some amazing things i'm obsessed with the weather here i mean it's obviously so much better than florida just there's not that much humidity there's like some days where it's humid but it's very subtle humidity it's nothing like florida or orlando weather like the heat in orlando is literally unbearable like i would leave and i would just want to shower immediately san diego is cool in the morning it gets hot during the day like the peak sunlight times but there's still always like a nice cool breeze always rolling in because we're so close to the water and then at night it's always kind of cold like um obviously it's still summer and me and my boyfriend were trying to go to the the pool and it was cold outside so we we're like damn we're gonna have to go to the jacuzzi like we can't just go to the pool but it's incredible i love it i feel like i can actually like wear nice clothes here i don't have to be like naked because of the heat which is nice yeah so those are the basic things like the weather's just awesome it's so weird this is my first time being in a big city and San Diego is just so cool. There's so many like li there's so many little neighborhoods everywhere. Um, like there's little Italy. There's like Saramessa. There's uh, what's the other? I don't know. There's just I'm still learning the the different neighborhoods. But there's so many cool different neighborhoods, and they all have like their own little thing, which I love. And um, it's weird because <laughs> I feel like I'm in a big city, but then we're also like surrounded by water so it's so weird to me that i'm like surrounded by buildings and then i'll drive straight down to like little italy and i just see the water and the and, and the ocean and it's just so crazy so i love that i love that i'm 15 minutes from the beach there's just so much things around me it's kind of overwhelming because i want to do everything but i know i just have to relax like i i obviously still have a full-time job so i have the weekends to explore and stuff but I'm just so excited to check everything out. So also, if you are from San Diego or you're from California around this area and you have some places that you want me to visit, please comment below and let me know because I definitely want to explore, especially if you're a local because I want to check out the local spots. Another thing, people are so nice here. It's weird. I will literally just be walking in my apartment complex and someone will start talking to me in the elevator or will just start talking to me. It's so weird. I feel like people don't do that in Orlando as much. Like even shopping, this girl online literally just turns around and was like, do you like this? And I was so caught off guard. I was like, um, yes, that's cute. You should get it. But people are here are really nice, like overwhelmingly nice. And it's so strange, but so refreshing. Let's answer some questions that people ask me on Instagram. So I have my phone here. What is the biggest difference between Florida and California? 
Um, I feel like I kind of answered this already, but biggest difference, the weather for me. I mean, like literally, if Florida's weather is a zero, California's like 100, it's incredible. Just night and day difference in the weather. I think that's it, I mean, it's just, you're, San Diego's a big city, and it's just so different. Orlando, you can, you don't really feel like it's a big city, to be honest. It's still kind of in its building and growth phase, and San Diego's established city, so it's just night and day. So I think that's the biggest difference, that Orlando is kind of still a small town compared to San Diego, and the weather is just so much better here. People are way nicer here. And there's just so, so much more to do in San Diego. It's just insane. Like it's, you you can, I feel like even in a year of living here, I'm not gonna experience everything. That's how crazy it is. So I think that's the biggest difference. <laughs> Someone asked how my boyfriend is adjusting to the move. Honestly, I think he's adjusting really well. He loves it here. He, this isn't his first time here in California. It's my first time. So. I feel like for him, it's been an easier adjustment. He's also left his family before and his uh, dad is actually here with us. And so I feel like for him, it's not that big of an adjustment. Whereas me, I literally moved and left all my family, which we're both adjusting great. He's adjusting, I think the same as me, like we were both loving it. Have you noticed a difference in California versus Florida fashion? Yes. And I have noticed that the women here are just hyper feminine. So I've seen like a lot of flowy dresses, skirts, like I've, I feel like the women here are just a lot more feminine. Whereas in Orlando, when I go out, I think I see women that are more, and maybe this is because there's a bigger like Hispanic, well actually there's a big Hispanic population here too. Maybe it's the different types of Hispanics, I don't know, but people, in Orlando, I think, dress a little bit more edgy, if that makes sense. I think just the, the aesthetics here are more boho, more uh, Western styles, more like hyper feminine. What's been the hardest change for you? Honestly, the hardest thing, and it didn't really hit me until recently, was leaving my family. I, it's been the hardest like leaving or being like separated from my mom because I don't know it's just so weird like when I even lived in Florida I didn't see my mom that often I maybe saw her like <laughs> twice a month which I know sounds horrible she literally lived 30 minutes away from me but with work and everything going on but we were always talking on the phone at least once a week but it's so weird now that I'm here, I like want to talk to her more. Even though I'm not going to see, like, yeah, maybe because I like mentally know that I'm going to see her less. I like miss her and I'm like, you're so far away. So I try to FaceTime her literally like I FaceTime her like every other day to be honest. So weirdly, I talk to my mom more now that I'm farther away than when I was closer to her. So... I don't know. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but I love my mom so much. So it was hard. I definitely, I had a, a, a like a hard day the other day where I like really missed her. And I was like, and I also don't have any friends here. I don't know anybody. I was considering getting on Bumble, but I'm just so busy with life and stuff. I don't know. I might make a video of me meeting like a Bumble friend. Who knows? Yeah, it's hard making friends because I'm working on my projects and my own stuff. So I literally, it's just me and my boyfriend. I have no friends. So that's kind of hard. But me and one of my best friends, Vanessa and I are starting a podcast. So um, that's gonna be our way to kind of stay in touch and still talk and all of that. But it's hard, it's hard not having like girls here to hang out with. So hopefully we'll meet some friends and we'll be a loner forever here. Oh, is the food better? Yes, the food is better. The only hard part, I mean the food is better overall because there's amazing Korean barbecue places which is my favorite. There's a ton of like Hawaiian restaurants, Korean restaurants, like Japanese, like we, I think the where we live is like a hub for Asian food. So it's literally incredible. I can get dim sum at like any place that's here is incredible. It's so, so good. Now the hardest part was that it was really hard to find a Venezuelan restaurant, but I found it. There's literally one, there's literally one Venezuelan restaurant in San Diego. I found it. 
and I ordered food from it and it was really good. I actually wanna put it in my bio. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put the name of the restaurant if you're in San Diego and you don't know where to find Venezuelan food, I got you and I'm gonna put it down here. Um, it was really, really good. I Uber Eats it and it was fire and they, I got my fix. I am super excited about what's to come with my channel. You guys can expect more vlogs of me just exploring San Diego, of me exploring California, because we're gonna go to so many places nearby. There's just so many things we can do in the state. I'm so excited. So expect more vlogs, expect more videos weekly. Stay tuned. And also, me and my friend Vanessa are starting a podcast. It's called Your Vibe Tribe. And it's literally just us talking shit about randomness, reality TV, life, relationships, dating, all that good stuff. So if you're into that, then go check us out on Instagram. It's called Your Vibe Tribe Podcast. I'm gonna link it below so you guys can check it out. And if you're not following me on Instagram already, my name is at oh, hey, Ellie right here. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>